Okay, John, so training camp is over, and I wanted to check in with you and see how things are going. Obviously, this is your first year uh, as an assistant coach with the Coyotes. Uh, how are things going at this point? Uh, it's been going pretty good so far. I mean, we're just trying to get the structure of the PK uh, situated. Uh, you know, we have some uh, new guys that are, you know, learn that they, they've done different things than other teams, and we're trying to get up to speed. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, some, some, some of the goals have been going in have, have just been bad bounces. But... Uh, Overall, uh, I can say that uh, things are getting better as we go. Can you speak about what your role will be on game days? Uh, we've been hearing the phrase, eye in the sky. So I assume you'll be sitting up in the press box with us. Yeah, yeah, I'll be up top and uh, pretty well uh, scouting out what the other teams are doing. And hopefully we can get a jump on ahead of those guys and uh, be pretty well communicating with Brown in on the bench there. But uh, overall, I'm excited for it and uh, hopefully everything works out well. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of fans probably don't realize that you will be in communication with the bench. Uh, how do you see that as an effective coaching tool? Well, it just happens. You don't have the replays on the bench right away. So if there's something going to happen fast, and uh, at least we can see it up top. And hopefully we can get the information uh, quick to them. And hopefully they can respond to it. John, how do you feel being back uh, You know, around the NHL? You obviously played in the NHL and you played for the Coyotes in the late 1990s but how does it feel just being back around the league? Uh, it feels awesome, feels great uh, you know it's uh, as a player you always wanted to be in this league and you know when you do retires and when you're coaching it's definitely you want to get back at this level and uh, you know it's, it's just a great atmosphere at all times uh, uh, you know you just make sure that everything is done properly you gotta you know get ahead of the game and uh, pre-scout so it's, other teams as fast as we can so we can get an edge on them but uh, for for me being back here it's uh, it's exciting time for me and you know as a kid you know young kid coming out of Newfoundland it's uh, it's always fun to uh, be at a higher level and then you know it's what we always dreamed about when you were a player did you envision yourself as a coach down the road or were you just focused on being a player no not at all I never had any you no know, I was just strictly strictly a player and you know when you get older and you I guess you turn that curve of 30 but uh uh, you know, I just happened to get hurt one night in Philly. I was out for a long time, and um, there was changes made there, and they asked me to go behind the bench. And from there on, I just enjoyed it, loved it, and I knew when my time was up as a player, I knew I wanted to be a coach.